today we need to get into Jungkook being talked about crying and what happened there. We also have Charlie Puth giving Jungkook a proper send off to the military. And then we have Jungkook actually saying that he will miss everyone. Say dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a taste blink mug merch, and let's go. If you're not aware, BTS recently dropped a photo book documentary. This is definitely very different. People don't usually do this. In fact, I've never heard of such a thing until now. It is called Beyond the Stage BTS Documentary Photo Book, The Day We Meet, in case you wanted to get it. And they released a trailer to get everyone excited about it. The trailer was very nice and shared not only some photos and very beautiful moments, they also shared some quotes that I assume the BTS members must have said in private quite a bit. The photos and moments were moments from 2020 and then onward, so their journey here in the US. Naturally, the quotes would surround this idea that they wish to have a concert and they wish to perform live again. We have RM taking a very interesting moment to discover himself with him saying that he often pondered what kind of person he is. This is definitely something very good to do. I hope everyone had an opportunity during the whole crazy lockdown situation to have some time to themselves. Maybe some had way more time to themselves than they ever wanted, but enough time to get to know the person they are and what they wanted out of life. I felt like the lockdown acted like a pause button for a lot of people, and especially celebrities to get creative in how they do their performances, but also what they wanted to do going forward. Since a lot of artists were stripped from their audience, it makes the dynamic of creating music very different as a lot of artists create music to perform live, like music specifically for a live performance, which is all of K-pop, right? The whole dancing thing is so that people have have good live experiences. Whereas an artist that might do techno or use auto-tune excessively in an artistic way may only be making music for radio or for streaming because they can't sing and sound like that auto-tuned voice when they're live. V apparently talked about how he teared up when he finally saw the fans, and I can understand this. Their whole career and their trainee process is them learning how to perform live and in front of an audience. Taking the audience away is actually going to be more uncomfortable than if they had it. Jungkook even talked about how much he misses doing shows to say that he misses them terribly. BTS members also write and make music that is specifically about themselves or ARMY. If you cannot see ARMY and be inspired by the purple ocean in the crowd, the light sticks if you don't know, it gets difficult for the boys to get inspired. Suga and Jin also shared the same sentiment to say that they terribly miss doing shows and J-Hope even added that when it finally was time to perform in front of an audience again, it felt a bit surreal. So it's very beautiful to hear how much they love performing and how much they would miss it if it was taken away. Of course, there's a lot of people that wouldn't find that shocking because lots of people love to perform. However, performing live and in front of a huge audience is definitely something I could do without as my nerves would never let me. So it's definitely a world I can try to understand but doesn't always make a lot of sense to me. People definitely were not surprised. However, to hear that Jungkook was missing performing and missing his audience as they think he is super sensitive, sweet guy. And absolutely, but I think they believe that Jungkook would cry or break down at any given time without with the most minor inconveniences. And that is not who Jungkook is. If you are someone like that, no judgment at all, that is me, but it's simply not Jungkook. I think he actually can handle a lot and doesn't get torn up easily. We've seen moments where Jungkook cries after a performance, specifically when he messes up. And I wanna say this is not just a cute moment where you're looking at someone who just cries easily. Again, nothing wrong with that, it's just not that situation. And I would hate for someone to look at Jungkook crying after what he believes is a subpar performance and thinks that he is so sensitive and will cry over things that most people wouldn't. There's several fact that he might have been sleep deprived or extremely tired from practicing a lot. Also, it's quite natural and expected to cry if let's say you have been giving it your all and putting all your effort into it only for the payoff and the big moment to be screwed up. And I think most people would be very upset. And the reason I bring this up is because I don't believe Jungkook does cry very easily. And I think when he does cry, there's a good reason for it. People were mass tweeting during the enlistments, specifically because V and RM were leaving first. So Jungkook got a chance to be an audience member for the ceremony before it was his turn. And people were saying that they bet that Jungkook will cry and believe that they will lose it if they see Jungkook cry. 
Now, from what we have seen, Jungkook did not cry. Jungkook was maybe emotional, but he did not specifically tear up or be hurt from the other members enlisting. He was likely very sad to say goodbye, but he was literally going to see them again very soon. In fact, I believe before they're shipped off, they spend like three or four months together training. And this is before they are assigned to their permanent duties. So I don't see that Jungkook, even if he was the type to get emotional, to get emotional in that moment. I know everyone is sort of still grieving and that's okay. I also kind of wish they BTS just silently left without telling anyone and people would then just think that they're still there because they all have this pre-recorded content that would come out. So if we didn't know that they enlisted, who would be the wiser when the clips came out? And then everyone just thinks they're still around. However, it's nice that they're transparent because I guess if they didn't tell anyone and people found out, a lot of people would be mad and say that BTS members are liars or whatever. But I'm really glad everyone showed up for everyone's enlistment and they got to have a moment because I doubt they had time to really be there for any of their other friends who are enlisted, like going to their ceremonies. Jungkook was also highly praised recently for his last appearance before the military and I 100% agree that it's an appearance worth talking about. So for a little context, Charlie Puth was invited, I believe by TikTok, to do a concert. He came on stage and did a full set and it was great. He was then doing left and right and then stopped the performance midway to say that he needed Jungkook on stage. Of course, since Jungkook was so close to enlistment, he was likely unable to specifically fly out. So instead, Jungkook recorded a video in his room where he was singing left and right and Charlie played that in front of everyone while singing along with Jungkook. It was absolutely beautiful and the most important thing here is we have almost live vocals of Charlie and Jungkook singing together and their voices blend so beautifully together. People were then wondering if Charlie was going to have any sort of reaction to Jungkook enlisting and how Charlie felt about it. So after the concert or the show was over, Charlie actually tweeted out a thank you message that got people emotional because a lot of the celebrities that have worked with BTS haven't really spoken out about the enlistment and they're smart not to as their words might get too politically wound up. So what did Charlie say? He said, I want to thank Jungkook for joining us on stage virtually last night. It is a very full circle moment from discovering his we don't talk anymore cover to performing together in 2008 for the first time and he wanted his final performance was with me. I feel very lucky and I can't wait to perform with him again when he is back. Thank you to BTS and the BTS ARMY for all the love and support always. I will see you soon, JK. Charlie acknowledged that Jungkook is leaving and then giving a proper goodbye really showcases their friendship. And I think this is something that a lot of people were hoping for, to really see the friendship. Jungkook really admires Charlie and has been a longtime fan of Charlie well before Jungkook was even in the US. So for this person that Jungkook idolizes Charlie to say these things and then wish Jungkook a proper send off is very meaningful. I don't think Charlie will ever visit the camp or was invited to the ceremony because there just wouldn't necessarily be a reason for that they can just text each other. Also, Charlie probably wouldn't purposely make a flight out just to see Jungkook at the military. However, I can imagine if Charlie is in Korea, he might make a trip to go see him, but maybe that is it. People were saying that Charlie was getting super emotional here, and I think he definitely is. I think Charlie is sad to see Jungkook leave, but happy that Jungkook's last performance was with him. I mean, it's such an honor, right? For the next 18 months, when people are looking for the last or latest live performance by a member, they're going to find left and right. And that is definitely a huge deal. And I'm glad Jungkook got to sing with this idol once more before going. And I'm glad that Charlie was able to have Jungkook in one of his shows, as I'm sure Charlie has been wanting Jungkook to sing the song live in one of his shows. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, it's lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.